Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can change the speed of animations in Mission Control. Now, as nice as animations are, and Mac OS tends to fill with a lot of them, uh, you know, from everything from a new document to minimizing a window, there's lots of nice, fun animations. But the thing with them is, sometimes they can actually make things seem slower than they really are because the animation takes so long in some cases. So with something like Mission Control, you can see when I open it, it's nice and all, uh, but the animation just takes a while and it can kind of make things seem slower than they really are. So what you can actually do is go into Terminal and there's this way that you can change the speed of Mission Control. Now, a lot of people get scared away by Terminal because they think if you go in there and mess things up, you're going to you know, break the whole system and wreck everything. But, you know, it's pretty easy and I'll show you how to do it. So if we open up a new Finder window and you go into your Applications folder in your hard drive, and down to your utilities folder. Inside you'll find terminal. And now within terminal we're going to have to enter a couple different strings of text in order to change the animations to what we want. Unfortunately there's no way to do this with uh, some settings and system preferences or anything like that. Apple doesn't enable that. So you have to use something like terminal. So we can actually speed the animations up. We can make them really super fast. We can slow them down. You can disable them all together and then if you want you can return them to normal. So I'm going to show you how you can do all these things here. And actually the string of text that you have to put in is pretty much the same for all. By the way, everything that I type here will be right down below the video. So you can just copy and paste it rather than just typing it out like I am here. So first to speed it up, what you're going to do is you're going to type in defaults space right space com dot apple dot doc space and then expose. And if I can spell it right dash animation dash duration minus float and then the the time period so in this case to speed it up we're going to type 0.15 and once we hit enter you're not going to see anything happen in terminal you know there's no you know, flashing lights or anything that you did it but you're going to type in kill all as one word and then doc and make sure you have the d capital in doc and then hit enter so it's going to kill finder or DAC rather, and it's going to restart it. And now, since Mission Control, Expose, things like that are all controlled through the DAC, it kills it all and it resets it. So now you can see if I go into Mission Control, it's faster. It's not a lot faster, but it's subtly faster enough that it makes things seem faster. And you know, switching back and forth between screens is faster than it previously was. Now, if we want to do super fast, I can actually just copy and paste the same line here. The only thing that we have to change is the duration. So I'm going to do 0.1 and it's slightly less time so it's going to be even faster. And then once again I'm going to kill the dock and you'll probably see your screen flash kind of like that. And now you're going to see that the animations are a lot speedier than they used to be and drastically so. It might not be as easy to tell on the screen recording because I do drop a few frames but you're going to have to trust me that it is quite a bit faster. And if you try it out yourself you'll see that it is. If you want to slow these down, once again, it's the same exact thing, but I'm going to change it to the one, the number at the end, and then kill all again. And now you'll see that the animations are a lot slower than they used to be, it, actually pretty drastically so. And this isn't really practical, it's more of a fun thing if you don't use Mission Control that much and you just like to play around with stuff once in a while. Now for people that are all about productivity and you know they don't want any goofy animations slowing them down, if you put in the same thing but change the last number to zero, that speeds it up all the way, thus just stopping the animation altogether. So if we kill the DAC again, we'll see that when we go back into it, there will be no animation. It just cuts right in and cuts back out. And this is really useful for people like me, as I use Mission Control all the time. I have tons of desktops always open. So it's a lot easier for me. I don't have to wait around for animations. And it's really nice if you're on a slower computer running line, like maybe one of the older ones from maybe 2008, 2007, and your graphics card isn't you know, the best for showing all these animations. If you just stop them all together, it can make things quite a bit faster. Now, if you want to return your animations back all the way to where they were before you started playing around with this, what you can do is type in a line similar to what we did at the beginning, uh, but it's a little bit different. So we're going to do defaults, and then delete, and then com.apple.doc once again, expose dash animation dash duration and you're going to hit enter and then once again kill all doc 
And what this will do is reset everything just to how it was before you started. So your animations are back and exactly how they were. No faster, no slower, not disabled. Now, if you're like me and you just like to mess around with your computer and you know try out different stuff, there's actually this hidden little Easter egg within OS X that lets you just slow down or speed up animations you know, once without having to go into terminal. So if you hold down shift and then perform any action that has an animation, it'll be slowed down and pretty drastically so, and it's just kind of fun. So for example, if I hold down shift and then go into launch pad, you can see that the icons fade in really, really, really slowly. And it takes quite a while and it's kind of fun. And the same goes for minimizing an application like calendar. Let's say you can see how slowly the animation goes and it's just kind of fun, a little thing to play around with. So it's nothing much, it's just something cool. So there you go, that's how you can change the speed of mission control animations in Mac OS X Lion. If you have anything that you'd like to see me do a video on, make sure to send me an email. I hope you found this video useful, and thank you for watching.